Do, 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 do. Bob's your uncle here, formerly known as Captain Pancake, formerly known as Bob's your uncle before that, and prior to that, formerly known as Bob, the dyslexic postman, author and poet. As I am, stand, I'm back to Bob's your uncle, and uh, I'm probably changing everything again to sort of that. The artist formerly known as Bob's your uncle, Captain Pancake, and Bob's, Bob the dyslexic, postman, author, and poet. Like Prince, you know, I'm a bit like Prince. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a YouTube sensation, you know, I'm a YouTube sensation. You know, I'm a, I'm basking in the glory of f fame, you know, on this YouTube uh, channel of mine. Got it up to 27 subscribers. Peace and blessed love to you all. Um... And when it got to 27, I, I mean, I tell you, it was a heady height. I was, I was feeling very heady at the time. I was, it was the heady heights of fame. I thought, oh, wow. I've really made it now. 27 subscribers. Woo! <laughs> it's dropped down to 25 now, so I'm a bit more grounded now. I'm not, not letting it get to my head too much, you know, so. But it really got to my head at one point. I was like, whoa, yeah, whoa, 27 subscribers. <laughs> you know, and, and a couple of my videos I've had up to 350 views, you know. So yeah, I'm a real a proper YouTube sensation. I mean, I've probably I've probably earned about uh I mean it comes to financially, you know, I mean I'll be able to retire soon, you know. Um early retirement on the cards. I've, I've earned about so far I've earned about zero point zero 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 three five seven nine eight pence on the advertising uh, side of things. So yeah, getting there. It's a slowly but surely wins the race and all the rest of it, you know, remember the toss of the hair. The uh, old Aesop's fable, you know, to the tortoise and the hare. Remember that one? There's a lot to be learnt from things like that, from the Aesop's fables. Anyway, so yeah, so yeah. Yeah, so I'm, I'm back, I'm back, uh, briefly. This is the Christmas special, by the way, because it's uh, 5th of May, 2017. There's only 33 weeks and a bit more to go to Christmas. And uh, the nights will soon be drawing in. I mean, it's... Just a little over six weeks of the summer solstice, and then the nights start drawing again. More just starting to feel the winter chill anyway, you know. So, uh, yeah, I thought I'd better do a little Christmas special here. You know, it's never too early for Christmas. Christmas, you know, be, being the best day of the year, and uh, being a postman and all that, you know, we, we love it. We love Christmas, you know, it's what we live for, you know, it's what we live for. As soon as Christmas is over, it's like countdown to next Christmas, you know. 52 weeks and counting, now we're down to 33 weeks. So, yeah, it's getting there, you know, it's getting there. It went pretty quick, it's gone quick so far this year. So, yeah, the nights are drawing in, it's soon be Christmas, it's getting a bit chilly in the air, so yeah, I can smell, I can smell the, um, smell that um, Christmas pudding already, you know, beckoning my senses. Mmm, Christmas pudding, I love a bit of Christmas pudding. Anyway, what am I going to talk about today then? <laughs> well, I'm jamming. I want to jam with you. Well, what, I was going to sing the Cockney rendition of Jamming by Bob Marr and the Whalers, but I'll leave that for another, uh, uh, another, another, another broadcast. Also, what I want to mention is, on on a very a very near future from now, within the next, I could daily, I can I can actually quite confidently say, within the next few days, possibly the next couple of weeks maximum, Brian Cox is going to be on the show, with his with his slant on things. Uh, I've had Brian Cox on the show before, um, but I'm, I'm I've only he's only been a guest. He's only been a guest, but in this, I'm going to actually have him um, being the full-on horse of the show. Maybe two or three more broadcasts from now. Um, he's going to come into my gaff. He's going to sit himself down. I'm going, to, I'm going to give him a cup of tea and all the rest of it. He's an order like myself, you know, from Chatterton. I actually think he's from Castleton. He's actually from Chatterton. It's about four miles difference, you know. Not a proper northerner, of course. You know, he's a manky, isn't he? You know, but... Can't be helped, you know. So Brian Cock is going to be on the show in the next four or five days or two weeks or whatever. 
uh, and he's going to give his own take on things and, um, you know, explain about Big Bang Theory and why the Earth is a globe and um, how everything manifested from nothing and why why there is a universe to begin with, you know, and w what's the purpose of it all? You know, you can, you can always rely on our Brian, you know. Brian Cox, BBC, BBC glamour boy, BBC glamour scientist. <laughs> yeah, went to Hume Grammar. Um, lovely head of her, lovely smile. A lovely fella, lovely fella. <clears throat> went to Hume Grammar, uh, yeah, that's where all the SWATs used to go, you know. Anyway, Christmas special. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Feeling very festive today. Feeling airy. Feeling airy. And uh, watch this space. Brian Cox coming to this channel very soon. I think I might, I might invite uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson as well. Stephen Hawkins. Uh, Dickie Dawkins. You know, Richard Dawkins. Um, what the, what the, Bill Nye. He's another one, isn't he? Uh, I, I would have invited Patrick Moore, but he's passed on, hasn't he? Patrick Moore and Magnus Pike. No, they've all passed on then, but they've got the younger generations now. Yeah, we've got Stephen Hawkins, we've got Dickie Dawkins, we've got, we've got a whole bunch of them. Brian Cox, he's the man, though. 